Now, Heartland Sports with Todd Richards. Hi again, everyone. We tip it up right out of the break with Class 3 District 2 girls semifinal action at Bloomfield. Luke Randall reports. One seed Saxony Lutheran facing an early scare because, hey, look at this, the Cardinals, they're up. Mallory Bark scores. Then Woodland keeping the pressure on. Tally Johnson and the Cardinals would take a three-point lead heading into the halftime break, but a big-time playmaker emerged in the second half. Rebecca Johnson and one for the Lady Crusaders. She's good on offense. She's good on defense. Gets the steal right there. And Saxony Lutheran puts a big second-half performance together to send Woodland out and the fans are stoked because they're gonna see their team heading into the finals. The other matchup, Scott City versus Kelly. These teams were in a great game last month and another one tonight. Jada Griggs for three, Kelly's fired up and so are the students. Anytime there's a foul, you can't do that. yeah, that's what you hear. But the Lady Rams find their way, Hayden Collier and Scott City, they're making some noise on their own end. Then in transition, Mackenzie Lawless able to receive the ball, gets it, lays it up and in, and the Rams are right back into this one. They would tune out the noise and take a 45 to 35 win, sending them into the final, all to play for on Friday night between Saxony and Scott City. We're gonna have it on Heartland Hoops in Bloomfield. I'm Luke Randall. All right, thanks, Luke. Also in girls class three, District one, Malden and Twin Rivers advance to the final. The Malden boys, by the way, won a big one last night. One of the few scores I couldn't get in. Girls class two, District one, Portageville, Zenith, Hornersville. They're in the final game. Class one, uh, District one, Delta and Oak Ridge will play for the title. Huge MVC game, Murray State and SIU tied at 66. Under a minute to go, Xavier Johnson, the star misses, but Jared Hensley with the putback, put him up by two. Murray Strait State, great looks, could not make the basket, and SIU goes on and wins 72-68. Out to Kappahaw Field, Simo and Murray State. Red Hawks home opener, warm but windy day. Racers would break through in the second. They had themselves a pretty good lead in this game. That was a Carson Garner homer, but Simo responds. Ty Staus with the hit, Cameron comes in. Southeast also had a bunch of homers, eight to seven the final. They get their first win of the year. Quite a month for the Saxony Lutheran Athletics Program. First they announced they got football, and then they announced their head coach, Principal Mark Rourke, introducing Cape, former Cape Central and SEMO star O.J. Turner, first coach in school history. He's ready to start the building project. I think it's important to keep things simple. Um, we're, we're, I think it's important when you're starting a program, uh, we're building a foundation. Foundation's gonna be a word we use a lot around here. Foundationally, we, we've never had football here. I think foundation goes really, really well with the Christian beliefs that I think. So foundationally wise, we gotta get kids in a weight room. We gotta get kids to get an IQ of football. So those things are important, but I think foundationally wise, as long as you do it the right way, we'll have some success. He really was the complete package for us, I think. And, and having a daughter, his daughter that graduated from here in 2021. Uh, he knew the school. JV football in 2024, varsity in 2025. Jackson wrestling coach Steve Wachter's team, seven heading to state and a girls wrestler is, is well mixed in there. Tournaments this Friday and Saturday in Columbia. Indians qualifiers talk about making it to the biggest stage. I'm gonna treat it like I do every match. Just go out and attack it best I can. Uh, I just got to work what I know, stay on my feet where I'm the best at, and try to stay in those key areas. I think we'll do good as a team and stuff like that. We, we have a high chance of placing a lot of kids, and I think we'll wrestle tough. I, I want to be a state champion, of course. I got This is just my sophomore year, so I want to be a state champion this year and next year and the next year. It's what would it mean no for you to bring back a high place or a state? Um, I would be excited. I would be more than happy. I would, yeah, it'd be great. How, what's your mindset going in? Um, I'm just going to try my best, no matter what happens. What kind of competition do you expect? Pretty hard. So seven boys and a girl heading to state. We'll be back.